million adults here in the U.S. will have at least one major episode of depression this year. Last week was National Mental Health Day, and one group here in Indy wants to help continue to continue to help those who are struggling. Our Erin Lish joins us live right now, and she has information on how you can get some free help if you need it. Good morning, Erin. Good morning. So think of this. Think of 10 friends, 10 coworkers. Now look at this stat. One in 10 people will end up having some sort of depression this year. So maybe you have a bad day or maybe it's something more. When is the right time to get some guidance? Christina Davis at the Christian Theological Seminary Counseling Center says there's a stigma when it comes to mental health. And there's not shame in going to the doctor when we have a physical pain or ailment, but sometimes there is when it comes to our mental health. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the U.S. Stats show the most common underlying problem is caused from depression. Davis says everyone needs help with their mental health. Really, mental health is on a continuum. And so even if there's not a diagnosis of depression, all of us may in, um, encounter adjustments um, in life that we could use a little bit of additional support. All this week, the clinic is providing free depression screenings, which evaluates the situation and gets you connected with the right help. Employees say it's important for everyone to do this. There are things that are being asked that will make you think about yourself in a more holistic uh, perspective and give you that power to take control of your life again. Now, Davis says that you can help somebody who's struggling. You can lend them a hand, give them support, ask them how they're doing, maybe even go with them to one of these free screenings that can make them maybe feel like they have the support that they need. So when I was talking about those screenings, it starts today and goes through the 20th. They have walk-ins also on the 18th to set up an appointment. We have that information on the IndyChannel.com and on the RTV6 apps hot button tab coming up in the next half hour. I'll have these signs of depression and what you need to look out for. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Aaron, thank you. It is 607. Former President George W. Bush will be in the Hoosier State later today. He'll be campaigning for Senate candidate Mike Braun. The Republican National Chairman is making that announcement.